Hi, this is Dallin Weeks from a band called I Don't Know How But They Found Me. We're gonna talk about uh, my gear today, so check it out. Start right here with uh, this little orange number. Um, I got it off Craigslist for like $200, maybe like two or three years ago. Yeah, so this is the Craigslist orange P base. Um, I think it was made in 81, but it's a Frankenstein job. The guy that sold it to me put this uh, 50s reissue neck on it. Um, it's got upgraded pickups. Those are the Pino Palladino signature pickups in there. And a kill switch, just fun little toy that I always add. An interesting fact, this bass got stolen once and was gone for about five days. It got stolen out of my hotel room in Hollywood. And five days later, the LAPD found the guy that stole it, so got it back, and it's back in the family. So couldn't be happier about that. That's why I have this now. Standard tuning is what I usually do. Every once in a while I'll go drop D, but that's pretty rare. Uh, the strings I have are Fenders, uh, 45 to 105 is my favorite gauge I use, and the best thing about this bass is the bridge, the Babbix Full Contact hardware. This thing locks in your intonation, you only have to do it once, it's beautiful. So that's my favorite, favorite bass that I own. I think these are Mogamis that I use, uh, the, the Platinum Mogami cables, they're, they're really great. Okay, so this is my Aguilar rig, it's a 410 cab. Um, about uh, 90 pounds, that's the heavy version. I have a lighter one at home, just save the knees, you know. But uh, this thing is uh, my, my favorite little amp that I use on tour, the Aguilar Tone Hammer 500. Got all the settings dialed in there on green dots and oranges for whenever the rare occasion comes up that I use a guitar. Try to avoid that, you know, you only need four strings, so any more than that you're just showing off. Anyway. I was an all-tube guy for the longest time and thought that solid state was just, you know, not my thing until uh, I found Aguilar. They uh, reached out and started a relationship and got to testing their stuff and found out I could pull some really great tones from their gear. And it's compact and lightweight, so it makes traveling in inexpensive and easy as well. So it just made a lot of sense, and I've stuck with them for years. They're really great. Okay, so this is the pedal board. It's nothing too fancy. I'll, I'll probably, you know, make some upgrades and additions in the future. But for right now, this is sort of the, the bare bones minimum uh, rig. Here I got the volume pedal. Uh, tuner, of course, gotta have that. This is probably my favorite toy on the whole thing, the Harmonist pedal. It makes, uh, gives it a little octave jump every once in a while. Um, MOSFET bass overdrive. It's got two settings on it, one for like a very subtle uh, overdrive sound and then that one really kicks it up a notch. So the Tone Hammer style box I always have on, um, again marked with uh, little green dots, but it really helps you zero in on your tone, that in combination with uh, the head. And then a digital delay I use for a few songs, mostly just, you know, these are the, the fun toy effects that you get to play with during the show and this is more just for that overdrive. So it's pretty basic, but uh, you know, keeping things simple for right now is the name of the game, so. And then this guy is just a sort of an emergency backup if we ever play a spot that doesn't have a, a slapback vocal delay. So hardly really ever have to use this thing, but it's there just in case. I just know it belongs to our sound guy and it sounds good and I really enjoy it. So thanks to him for bringing it out. But uh, picks, just one millimeter, you know, bass picks, big triangle kind, nothing too crazy. And, um, I think that's about it, right? So that is my rig that I've been using on tour for the last year or two. Uh, might change in the future, but uh, we'll see. Um, thank you for checking it out. Uh, the name of the band is I Don't Know How But They Found Me, or IDK How for short. And you can go to idkhow.com to see where we're playing, get music, and any of that other sort of stuff that you might want to do. So, the end. Thank you.